we have a serious problem with this team. Let's go back to early on in the year, or before the season started, the end of last year, when they hired Doug Peterson. Nobody knew he was even a candidate. He wasn't even a candidate for coach, but we got him. Why did we get him? Because he's like Andy Reid? Well, partly, but mainly because Howie Roseman and the front office didn't want anybody to go over their head or to challenge them. And that was the main reason. He already proved he couldn't call plays in Kansas City. He blew that whole... Remember they blew that lead to the Colts? Was like they're up like 30 points or something? And they blew it? Well, who do you think the offensive coordinator was? He didn't call the plays. They, they've made so many mistakes. Now you come out, you go 3-0. and You go 3-0, and great. So you go 3-0, and everybody thinks you're great. Teams adjust, you can't adjust. You can't adjust to do what they're doing. All right. So in this game, once again, you come out. You play over the middle, over the middle, short, short, over the middle, over the middle. No shots long. While Washington and everybody for four straight games tore them up in the air. 30 points a game. You don't take one shot downfield. Well, one bomb. And nothing at the sideline, right? Nothing at the sideline. Doyle Green Beckham first drive. He goes, he gets five catches. Looks good. Every time somebody is starting to get going on your team, you go away from them. Doyle Green Beckham. He's got one-on-one -on -one coverage. Safety's creeping up. Why don't you take a shot long? He's six foot six. What's the corner over there? Five nine, five ten, five eleven. I don't know. But he ain't as tall as six six. But you don't take one shot. Every interception that Wentz throws is over the middle because you keep going there and everybody's playing it. It happens in Seattle. It happened tonight. And it pisses me off, man. It pisses me off. I'm waking all the kids up probably. But it don't matter because you blew it again. Then you have Smallwood. One in the ball, good. Next drive, you go away from him. Anytime you establish something, you go away from it. This coach, Eagle fans, this coach cannot be our coach going forward. He will ruin this kid. He cannot adjust to teams. He cannot adjust to other coaches. He's getting out coached every week. He doesn't make any adjustments. He ran the same three plays to Sproles on the same screen, same screen that he does to Barn. I mean, it's, it's always the same thing. Do something else. Play, make the defense play the whole field. You don't make them play the whole field. And this is every week I'm saying this. And it's every week repeating. And it's really pissing me off. Beyond belief, it's pissing me off. What the hell is wrong with you? You know? What the hell, man? Do something different. You know? I can't take it every week. The same old stupid stuff. So I'm playing with the Eagles. Get rid of the coach. At the end of the year, get rid of him. He's a nice guy. I know he's a nice guy, and he is, and all that. That's great. But he can't be our coach. I don't want to ruin this kid. This kid needs a real coach that plays his offense to the kid's strengths. Okay, he's not a deep dunk passer. He's a gunslinger. He needs to be able to stretch the field. He can make every throw and let him throw it. I mean, come on. This coach is the problem. Now, we're young and we have a, you know, we have a rookie quarterback and the playoffs and all that stuff. All right, whatever. I can get that. But what I can't get is I can't see how this coach is improving. I can see Wentz making improvements. I can see other people doing things. But I don't see this coach doing anything. So my whole problem with this game is it just shows me again on the biggest stage on Monday night that this coach is out of his league. He's out of his league. Let him go be an offensive coordinator somewhere. We need a coach and we need to build around our quarterback and we need to build to his strengths. Look at Derek Carr in Oakland. They play to his strengths. Okay. So simple. I mean, you know, Play to your guy's strengths. If Wendell Smallwood's running good, don't take him out the next series. If Doyle Green Beckham has five catches, 
Don't take him out for two series. Why are you running a bubble screen with a guy with one ankle? He can't run a bubble screen. Don't run it. It's you know stupid. It's stupid every week. You challenge a two yard pass, really? Are you gonna two yard pass? You're gonna challenge for two yards. We don't have any challenges the rest of the game. What if we needed it? I, I can't begin to tell you people how frustrating that this is not fun to watch this offense. It's not fun. The defense stunk too. I mean, you know, at least they make some adjustments, but you know, they come out with so much room for the receivers and, and Rodgers is just taking everything you get. Boom, 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 boom. You know, and then when he needs to go long, he goes long. When he needs to go over the middle, he goes far. When he needs to go sideline. You think, when's the last time you saw us throw 15, 20 yards down the sideline? Every interception's wins is over the middle. I can't take it. You know, what the hell? I think, all right? We stink.